We've all been there, one eyebrow plucked too much or forgetting to put that sunscreen on. But have no fear, help is finally here. Joining us now with summer beauty redos is the beauty girl herself, Nicole Pearl. Nicole, thank you so much for joining us today on Live in the Bay. We appreciate your time. I'm so glad to be here. So excited to have you. Now, we, we talked a little bit about some of the common beauty mistakes people make, especially during the summer. What are some mistakes that you really see stick out? Oh, wow. There are a lot of things you could do wrong, but what I always like tell my kids, the same thing with art, you can always fix it. You just have to be smart about it. So whether it's a sunscreen oops or over plucking, I promise you, I've got the fixes. <laughs> <laughs> the fixings, that's exactly what we need. We need the fixing. So what are some of the first products that you have for us today, Nicole? Well, one of the things that people are doing right now is they're swimming a lot, whether it's the chlorine or the salt water. It really can cause your hair to feel dry and damaged. So this is a really good time to start using clarifying shampoo. You only need to use it once a week. And one that I love is great for the entire family. It's from Odell. And this is a vegan formula. And this is going to really extract all that residue, all that buildup that you experience from all that summer fun. Love that. Sunscreen is super important. It's in right now. The sun is shining. We're in summertime here in the Bay Area. But what specifically about this sunscreen do you love so much? So what happens is that we often apply our sunscreen to our face, but people are forgetting that your skincare is really from the top of your head down to your chest. And if you forget that neck area, it's going to show signs of aging before anywhere else. So you want to incorporate a neck cream, especially if you're not applying that sunscreen, please do so. But in the meantime, a neck cream like this one from Women S, it's called Let's Neck. Now this is lovely because it's got this rollerball applicator, which feels really nice. You apply it in an upward lifting formation and it's filled with hyaluronic acid, which is really moisturizing and it's going to help take care of that delicate skin. I actually want to touch on that a little bit. Hyaluronic acid. It's something that we have all heard about, but sometimes when you hear about it, you're not really sure what it does. Nicole, can you explain to our viewers why that's such an important ingredient? For sure, the key thing to know, and you want to equate hyaluronic acid with moisturizing. It attracts moisture to your skin, it binds it in. It is one of the most moisturizing ingredients you can find. You'll see it in a lot of skincare products. There's different qualities or di different concentrations, but it's a really good key ingredient to so have top of mind. Amazing, so besides the sunscreen, we've got the face and neck action going on. What's one of the next beauty tips you have for our viewers? 48% of Americans are actually doing some sort of hair removal this time of year, once a week. So this is the time that you might be experiencing those ingrowns or razor burn. This is the time to start using a ingredient such as rosemary and turmeric. Those really target the inflammation, which is what's causing the ingrowns. So El Shami Forever has a wonderful skin repair gel. Everyone can use it. You can do it morning or night or spot treat. It has those key ingredients, the rosemary, the turmeric, and this is also great for razor burns, so something to definitely have on hand this summer. Oh, love it. I mean, you mentioned the razor burn, the ingrowns. We all hate them so much. I know so many of my viewers do as well, but you mentioned turmeric. Uh, was it rosemary? Rosemary. Oh so it's gosh. really looking for anti-inflammatory ingredients. Ah, got it. Okay, so those specifically, those ingredients really help uh, with inflammation. Yes. Amazing. Okay, so we've got the skin, the beautiful skin protecting with the sun. We're helping with the razor bumps, all the ingrowns. What's next, Nicole? Let's talk brows because in the summer you want to be minimal and really a beautiful full brow will really frame that face. But if you've overplucked or if you got sparse brows, well, you need to fix that. And a good way to do that, this is called the Brow Friend. It's very new, it just launched. It uses red light therapy and you'll see it's a smart tech technology. So you put it on moisturized brows, 60 seconds on each brow. And over the course of about four to six weeks, you're gonna noticed fuller looking brows. Oh, do you remember those uh, good old days in middle school, Nicole, when uh, we, used <laughs> we used to overpluck? Do you remember those days? That's when the magnifying mirror is not your friend. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you mentioned the red light therapy. I've actually heard that many times before in the beauty industry. How does that help stimulate hair growth and, and good for the skin? Red light is actually, it's a really wonderful wave of light that helps to not only stimulate the growth, but it's good for you. You could actually use this on your skin as well. It's really good for overall skincare, wrinkles, you name it. So it's a good uh, technology to look for. It definitely, and non-invasive, which I like too, no downtime. It's not aggressive, nothing like that. Definitely going to have to add that to my next beauty regimen. Regime. Now, what is one of the final steps that you have for us and our viewers today? Well, one of the things that we deal with is either our makeup melting off or getting cakey. So definitely switch from powder makeup to cream formulas. That's really gonna give you that longevity during the heat and the summer. One of my favorite things to use is an all over face stick or a cream blush. And a great technique, just so you can kind of get up and go, is to apply it in a W formation. It just goes along the cheekbones and across your brow. You can blend it out with your fingers or a brush and you will notice it gives you that beautiful flush where the sun kind of naturally hits your skin and it's a simple makeup technique for summer very very simple technique like you said very easy to add into all of the makeup stuff that we do but you mentioned something interesting to me the cream versus the powder why how does that help with the longevity of the makeup a powder is more likely to crease. It might get cakey or crumply in the heat. And so creams are very easy to blend. They last, they're going to have a better overall wear when you're dealing with humidity, when you're dealing with perspiration and all of those elements that we deal with during the summer. Absolutely wonderful. Now, any final tips that you may have for our viewers, Nicole? Anything left that you, that you wanna throw out there? Well, of course, the most important tip is to apply sunscreen, apply enough sunscreen and reapply. And if you do have those oops moments, one of the things you can do is a lavender type of essential oil that helps to calm and extract some of the heat. And just remember, it's never too late to apply sunscreen, no matter your age. Nicole, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. We appreciate your beauty tips, and I'm going to be adding some of those uh, to my to-do list as well.